ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the semifinal game, Central Michigan versus Southern Miss, the number two versus number six seed. A pretty entertaining um, get to get to this position. Central Michigan survived. I think they won 28-24 against FAU in round one. Southern Miss upsets the three seed South Alabama to get here. Um, it should be a rather good game. We had one hell of a signing day stream yesterday. If you didn't check that out, go back and look at that. See who all went where, all the new teams and things of that nature. But we are going to head and go live to our good buddy, Mr. Gerald. Gerald himself, the blown man in the booth tonight. Gerald, how's it going, my man? It's going good. What? So you got abandoned, obviously. Your offense coordinator, I think, is on. Yep. Yeah. What's your expectations? How do you think this thing's going to go? Uh, you know, last week we said we we're going to try to run the ball more, and if you kind of took that away, but I still think that's your number one game plan: is establish the run. Um, I think if we can do that, it'll really open up our passing game. And, uh, yeah, I, I just – I don't know. I feel like if we continue to score how we have been, I just – I don't see a way we lose tonight. Yeah, you're going to have to go up against a really inconsistent uh, quarterback with uh, Kepler for Southern Miss. How do you plan to attack him and try to get him off rhythm to where your defense can shine? I mean, we just got to get some pressure on him. I mean, last week, you know, we um, – faced FAU, who was kind of was inconsistent on offense all year, and they lit us up on defense. So we have to avoid doing that again. Um, but, yeah, just getting pressure on the quarterback and making him make bad throws. All right, well, best of luck to you. I'm going to head over and talk to the guys from okay. Southern Miss. All right, Southern Miss, Blake, Jet, how's it going, my man? We're doing great. So, you're going up against the two seed Central Michigan. You upset the three seed last week. What's it going to take to pull off another upset here today? Uh, dominant defense and big plays. That's that's all that's from me, Jed. You got anything? Uh, nothing to lose. Scary team to play. We got nothing to lose. Nobody even voted us to uh, make it past the first round. So, you know, we're here, ready to have some fun. That's the main goal tonight. All right, well, best of luck to you guys, and we will talk to you all at halftime. Thanks, Gage. Um, hold on. All right, so you heard it there, short and sweet from Coach Number Coach Blake. Gerald had a little bit more to say, but, um, you know, he is the favorite in this game. Lines were sent out last Friday, I believe. When did I put those out? So I can look at those really, really quick. Um, Central Michigan is six and a half point favorites over under 34 and a half in this one. USM money line was plus 175. I got the chat pulled up. What's going on, guys? Line cord this move. Lollipop Pirate. How's it going, my man? We are starting off with Central Michigan going to get the ball first. And as you can see, we'll be debuting these new fields here today. RFL, RFCL Season 1 Semifinals. This game is play, taking place in Santa Monica, California. We have Coastal Carolina versus Western Michigan coming up after this one. In Birmingham, Alabama at Protective Stadium. So Central Michigan is going to start at a QB draw QB power Fred Wesley's going to lose three yards so not the start that Central Michigan wanted so 
Second and 13. This field looks absolutely dope. That green grass is beautiful. Toe tap catch on the sideline for Devin Selesker. Going to be a five yard reception. Third and seven for the Chippewas. If you missed it last night, uh, we did announce the new teams. Central Michigan, Fred Weasley's pass falls incomplete. They're going to punt the ball away on their first drive of the game. But speaking of Central Michigan, Central Michigan and the coaching staff, Wide and Gerald, will be heading to Central Oklahoma. Um, Southern Miss, on the other hand, will be heading to Montana, becoming the Montana Grizzly. What's up, Samurai? Um, so lots of teams on the move, lots of rebrands, lots of new look, new faces coming in. We got Central Arkansas. UConn, Georgetown, North Dakota State, Miami, Ohio, Upper Iowa, and one more that I can't think of right now. But five wide set for Southern Miss to get this game started. Force three seconds on the play clock. Ball is snapped. Kepler back to pass. No, it's a draw. I don't think that was a draw. He took off running sack for four yards. So we see both drives here for both teams start off as a quarterback losing yardage and being behind the sticks on second down. Hand the ball off to LeCap. He's going to break a tackle, picking up five yards there. No, I didn't forget UCO. I started with UCO. I don't think I forgot Central Arkansas either. If I did, that's an L because I actually played a game against, uh, well, somewhat UCA's new roster earlier without any of the upgrades and stuff. But third and eight for Southern Miss. Eddie Murphy, long receiver to the left. We got goal line heavy set. Kepler back to pass. Going to fire across the middle. It's caught short of the first down, but the tight end, Jaden Jernigan, going to pick up 13 yards and a first down for Southern Miss. And, guys, Southern Miss with a huge, huge upset. I said Upper Iowa. I'll pull it up in just a second. Last week against South Alabama. Um, Yeah, I've got the RFCL hub somewhere. I thought. Kepler keeping it after a fake to LeCap. Gonna lose two yards. All right, so we have, I said UConn. Maybe I didn't forget anybody. App State, Central Arkansas, UConn, Central Oklahoma, Coastal Carolina, Georgetown, Miami, Ohio, Montana, North Dakota State, and Upper Iowa. I guess I didn't name everybody. Perfect. Kepler taking off running this time. What well, he's done well all season. Breaks a tackle. Hangs onto the ball. Picks up four yards. Not going to be third and eight. Pars says, let's see the UConn helmet spin. I'll, uh, I got I to gotta say, oh, y'all didn't get to see those last night, did you? You didn't see the UConn or Georgetown last night. They're pretty sick. Not going to lie. I'll show them to you after this. Or like later. Don't let me forget. But another third down now for Southern Miss. Kepler back to pass again. And trips over the defensive lineman. Who got pressure into the backfield. Now 54-yard field goal. I don't think Southern Miss tries it. Yeah, I'll be solo commentating this game, and then um, Gerald will be solo commenting the next one. So, But it is what it is. So they are going to like to punt this one away. I don't think they're going to use a fake here on 4th and 13. Kick is up. That's probably going to end on it is. 
Central Michigan will take over at the 20 yard line. And I will be right back in just a second. Lot needs help. All right, I'm back. Weasley, back to pass on third and nine. All day to throw and throws it right to a Southern Miss defender. Another three and out now for Central Michigan. So the miss about 15, 20 yards away from field goal range here. Kepler going to throw short. Ball is dropped. Yeah, Wad isn't here. Line core isn't here. Damn, Orpheus, I just realized that. Oof. Good catch. Sorry, shout out to Vasi. I apologize. I was in a rush trying to get those made before this game. A nice run there by LeCap. He's going to pick up 11, 11 yards and a first down for Southern Miss, and they like what they see going straight to the hurry up. Kepler under pressure, throws over the middle, it's called, no, dropped. Dropped by Eddie Murphy. Would have been a huge first down there by the five-star wide receiver. Unfortunately, ball falls incomplete. We're going to hand the ball off to LeCap again. They're going to get it to a third and manageable. Kepler back to pass pressure off the edge. Saw it coming. Tried the run. Is unfortunately dropped. Good news for Southern Miss. You are in field goal range now. I say that. I think they are. No, this may be another long field goal that they may have to decide whether to go for it or punt it away. And they are going to go for it.
as uh, Kepler stumbles his way for a first down, took off scrambling, tripped up about three yards short. Fortunately, able to find his way for a first down. Now Kepler back to pass again over the middle. It's caught. It's inside the five. Tipo the keep. And a first and goal situation now. Sticking with the five wide. Oh, and it, uh, that could have been picked. That should have been a touchdown. The mix of emotions that just went through everybody's mind right there where that ball was in the air. Let's take a look. Uh, I want to get Coach Cam reactions. For Southern Miss on the touchdown. Kepler speed option. Pitches to the keep. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown Southern Miss. Teeple a keep. A three-yard touchdown run. Okay, why did that not play? Oh, I renamed it. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Good catch. There we go. Southern Miss with a 7-0 lead here. I got to redo uh, my scenes here a little bit. And CMU going to get the ball to start at about the 30-yard line. Only three yards total. At this point in the game. I just realized I was muted because I was coughing. Weasley throws that one incomplete after Selesker picks up 25 yards on back-to-back. -back. Runs to get the drop started. Now Weasley's going to throw to the sideline. It's caught by Tyler Carter. Wide receiver one for the Central Michigan. Line core shows up to the chat, but not to the game. Central Michigan going to hand off to Selesker again. Going to be dropped this time for a loss of one. This time, ball's going to be thrown to the sideline on a wheel route. It's Caleb Hollum in the backup running back for CMU. And CMU is now in the red zone. Weasley throwing really short. Ball falls incomplete now, second 10. A 
another incomplete pass there for Weasley. Caleb can't believe it. And Central Michigan could be looking at potentially three points here after a very promising drive. Weasley bounces back, though, with a huge throw on third down to get Elijah Guy down inside the five-yard line. And now first and goal for CMU. And then a huge sack by Southern Miss. They dialed up the pressure. And Southern Miss is playing without a defensive coordinator. Jet was hired as the D.C., then their OC leaves, swaps to OC. Now second goal for CMU. That one should have been going the other way. Southern Miss drops a pick six, which would have made this a two-score game. Instead, Central Michigan with another third down and chance to put points on the board. Weasley, another incomplete pass. Weasley is either on or really off. Right now, it is the latter. Central Michigan going to look to tack on three here and make this a four-point game. I tried to take that off, but did not. All right, I don't know which is which here. We keep scored on a. I think he scored. It may have just been a long touchdown run last last week in the semifinal. Kepler back in at quarterback. They're going to hand off up the middle to the cave. He's going to pick up three yards. Third and two. Southern Miss could put together a very long drive here. Run this clock all the way down, score, and then get the ball to start the second half. That would be the ideal situation for USM. Better snap it quick. They just get it off. They're going to hand off up the middle. And T. Keep is not going to be able to pick up the first down. Central Michigan going to get this ball back. I just don't see a world where Southern Miss fakes this.
And Central Michigan is going to take over at the 30 yard line. Off to Selesker again up the middle. He's or sorry, this time it's Holloman. Second and 18 now for Central Michigan. Got a long way to go to pick up a first down. Pretty much back to where you started the drive just a few moments ago. Long throw is caught. What a throw by Fred Weasley. Probably the best throw he's made all season. And then right after that, the USM defense stonewalls Central Michigan's run game in the backfield. Fred Weasley is going to take off on second and 13. He's got a lot of green gas. He's got 15 yards. He's got a first down. And we are at the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. And Weasley's going to slide on this one after only picking up two yards. Weasley second and eight. Central Michigan really needs a timeout or a touchdown here with as little time left as possible. Coach Strong is going to pick up nine yards in the first down. Central Michigan electing going to the hurry up, the complete opposite of what I just said they needed to do. Throw short. Touchdown, Caleb. No, Willie Davis. I thought that was Caleb Holloman. It was the receiver, Willie Davis. And Central Michigan has taken a 10-7 lead with 10, with 52 seconds to play in the first half. Southern Miss, Kepler back to pass, throwing over the middle. 
almost intercepted. A ball badly underthrown there by Kepler. And Southern Miss has got to be careful here. If you go two more incompletions quick, you're going to be punting the ball right back to a hot Central Michigan offense. Now Eddie Murphy over the middle. About 30 yards to go to field goal range. Kepler's going to try to get some of it right here. Going to pick up 15 yards and a first down again for Southern Miss. Still two timeouts, 34 seconds to play. I think the biggest thing here is to try not to force a turnover. And another first down to Eddie Murphy. Kepler's six for eight, 63 yards. Got a couple yards on the ground with his feet as well. Kepler rolling out, throwing over the middle. What a dot. What a dot to Jerzon Brown. I don't think we've called his name all season, but comes up big here. 13 seconds to go. And now Southern Miss has got to be very careful not to turn the ball over. You want to come away with points here. At the very least, make this a 10-10 game. You get the ball to start the second half. But you've got to come away with points. You cannot afford a turnover. Look keep Going to throw it. Call. And now Southern Miss going to have to burn that last time out. And either you kick the field goal here or you, you have to throw it. You have to kind of play for that first down or the incompletion. I think you've got at least one chance here. Maybe max protect. Maybe take a shot, some verticals, make him throw it to the end zone. One or two guys underneath for the safety net for the first down. First down, spike the ball, kick the field goal. Go into halftime 10-10. to 10. We'll see what they elect to do. Five wide, second and two. With Kepler back to pass, throwing short over the middle. Touchdown, Jalen Sumsian. Ten-yard touchdown reception, and Southern Miss has taken the lead. 13 to 10 with five seconds left to play in the first half. Kicks off, kick is good, 14 to 10. What a play out of Southern Miss there to end the half. And I don't know what it is, guys. It's like we added these numbers besides the teams and at that point, everyone just wants to start playing better. I don't know. It's like Jet said before the game. You know, you don't have to agree with it. Southern Miss has nothing to lose at this point. If they lose, they go home. They were the sixth seed anyway. If they win, they go on to the national championship. Why would you not play a little risky? He's like going to throw deep to the end zone. Wow, that was almost caught, too. That's unbelievable. I'm going to go first to uh, chat. You want to go Southern Miss or you want to go Central Michigan first? Southern Miss or CMU? Let me know who you want to go to. All right, since no one is answering. We're going to go with the hottest team in the game at the moment. I got to ask, whose play call was it 
to throw it there on that second two and nine seconds left. That was all my offensive coordinator, Jet. Uh, he's making the right decisions, and that's all I've got to say. All right. Sounds like Blake's going to keep it short and sweet tonight. Jet, how do you? how's your uh, your evaluation of Kepler's performance so far in this game? Um, You know, I would say we're surprised, but we're not. We've seen g- glimpse of it throughout the regular season. Um, he's just shining when the lights are bright right now, and that's all that matters. Um, you know, we're 1-0. Uh, you know, regular season doesn't matter at this point, so if he keeps playing like the way he is, man, it's going to be hard for um, Gerald to stop him. But, you know, we got to keep playing like we're playing. I told Blake, the minute we go conservative is where the mistakes happen. So we're going to keep playing aggressive. We're going to keep playing Southern Miss football. And, um, you know, we're in for a, we're in for a uh, barn burner for the second half. So we're going to get to it. Sounds good. Blake, any final word? Let's go play some ball. All right. We will talk to you guys after Mm -hmm. the game. Best of luck. Coach Gerald, Weasley has been on, and Weasley has been really off. What's Mm -hmm. the key to getting him on the entire second half? Um, I mean – he just got to make easy passes, and he's missed so many. But at the same time, our offense has played terrible. Still, like, we should be winning, you know. Our defense has given up a fourth and nine scramble. And then that last drive, they dropped a easy interception. Um, so, yeah, as bad as our offense has played, I still feel like we are in a pretty good position. Um, but, yeah, huge defensive drive coming up. Uh, the biggest thing right there from the, the halftime – uh, drive out of Southern Miss is they get the ball to start the second half, so you're going to have to find a way to stop them. But Kepler, I think this is the best we've seen Kepler play all season, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, I would agree. Well, all right. Well, best of luck to you. Hopefully, your uh, coordinator you. can make it in here soon um, after this LSU game. But uh-huh. time will tell. Yep. All right. Sorry, guys. I think chat's like super delayed. I saw CMU, 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 like four, the first four messages after I got in there, but I waited like 30 seconds. So sorry about that. But as mentioned, Southern Miss will get the ball to start the second half. Fourteen to ten points, twenty-five to twenty-nine plays, about even on total yards and exactly even on first downs. Kev going to be at the quarterback position in the wildcat. Breaks a few tackles, pushes off a defender. And this Southern Miss offense is looking dangerous at the moment. Look at 46 yards on the ground, five and a half yards per carry. And, you know, Jet said it, the moment you get complacent is the moment bad things start to happen. So I don't think we see Southern Miss try to dial things back, play conservative, and just chew clock. Kepler's going to take off running. We saw a spy there out of Central Michigan. Kepler back to pass, throwing over the middle strike to Jazon Brown, who scored the go-ahead touchdown earlier. No. No, that was the fourth down attempt. Picked up a huge play over the middle. Picks up another huge gain there. And another first down for USM. And, yeah, I think uh, 
Nismo or Nicotine is alluding to it in the chat. Coordinators are making the plays. You can see it on camera. Jet is the one telling Blake what to call in the next game. I know for a fact Twist will pretty much tell me what to do, maybe not on third downs or fourth downs, but um, Twist is the play caller for Coastal Carolina. So coordinators definitely do need their credit. We'll keep around the left sideline picking up. About 15 yards there, a huge, huge gain there by Southern Miss. Great blocking on the perimeter. No block, no rock on the outside. And Southern Miss looking to make this a two-score game to open the third quarter. Gonna hand the ball off up the middle to Caleb Blackens. Haven't called his name in a while, but a good first down run there. He's gonna stay in the game. Be sure to hit the like on the video, guys. There's like 15 of you in the chat. Hit that like button really quick. If we can get 15 likes on this video, 15 likes on this video, I will give away a touchdown, Jerzon Brown, eight-yard touchdown reception. And I predicted it earlier. I said the touchdown had already happened. I lied. The touchdown was yet to come. Southern Miss, 21-10. All right, so as I was saying, I know I pretty much know who's been active in this chat. I also can go back and look at who's active in this chat. So if this video will get 15 likes on it, there's 13 of you in here right now. 15 likes, or it's 7, I will give away an RFL t-shirt. That's the goal. You have the mission. Make it happen. I see, I apologize, man. I messed up that ticker earlier. I don't know if you've saw it or Orpheus told you, but I accidentally put Orpheus. I was trying to in a rush and, uh, well, got y'all mixed up. Weasley throws wide to Selesker in the flats. Selesker dropped at the line of scrimmage. So third and five now for CMU. Strong going to come in motion. Weasley back to pass on third and five. Looking deep under pressure. Sacked. Southern Miss with a huge third down stop. I don't think Central Michigan goes for this. I just don't see a situation where they do. It looks like they are. I mean, you're already down two scores. You could be down three if you don't get this, but stranger things have happened. This is the RFCL where God knows what will happen, to be honest. Fourth and 12. Weasley will pass. Three-man rush. Throwing a will route out of bounds, and that's it. That's the end of the drive for Southern Miss. A huge fourth down stop. Gerald can't believe it. Weasley not playing like a five-star quarterback, to say the least. Is being outshined by 77 overall freshman. But Lakeep is going to be lined up in the wildcat position. 
Likens coming in motion, going to throw it short to Jernigan. He's going to pick up a first down, and Southern Miss is in business yet again inside the red zone. I'd like to see him give it to Caleb Likens one time on the edge, but that middle is so open. A counter of power would probably work just as well. They're going to keep it on the counter, and it's Caleb. Oh, I thought he had a hole. If somebody can find a way to go coach mode with the back angle view, um, like the end zone view, I, I will probably pay somebody decent money to figure out there's a way to do that. Sixteen viewers, eight locks. Maybe next video I'll lower it to 10. But we'll see. Kepler, sideline. Some seeing. Five-yard catch, third and two. Or an all 22 would be even better. But third and two. Ten personnel on the field for Southern Miss. Six-man box versus seven-man box. They brought the pressure. Central Michigan dialed up pressure. It wasn't good enough. And Southern Miss going to pick up another first down. Stick concept up top would do wonders right now. Five wide, letting the clock bleed. Kepler keeping himself. Oh, he's just short. And that's honestly going to work out in Southern Miss's favor. They can burn, uh, burn another 40 seconds here. Yeah. Slayer, wait till next season where pretty much everyone has custom unis. It's going to be dirty. Um, Nismo, has Gerald showed you all UCA's stuff yet? If not, I've got it on here. I may honestly load up and get some, some pictures later. Goal line set versus five wide. Ballsy out of Central Michigan. Wide open, multiple players. Tip of a keep. One yard touchdown reception. And Southern Miss may have just put this thing on ice with 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Kepler standing tall, under pressure, throws a dot. And Santa Monica is screaming black and gold. All right, Central Michigan. Play action pass to start the drive. Weasley throwing over the middle and right to a Southern Miss defender. Caleb getting a little irritated over here. It's still possible. They could still pull this one out. So I will say the only way a team can be in the coaches league as if they are not in the Gridiron League or the Classic League. They have to be a coach league team by themselves. That's why we've had so many rebrands because somebody is Central Michigan in Gridiron 
So Caleb Swap to UCO here. Bounce route to, I think that's Selesker. It is 12 yard reception for CMU and the first down. don't think I wouldn't snap this yeah unless they really really like something and I tried to tell you fourth quarter 28 to 10 Southern Miss is dominating this football game Slayer I'll take that back with a classic league we make and allow it um, but the point is that we want to have kind of like Southern Miss's jerseys here are designed for RFCL. Some teams are going to get fields designed for RFCL. So, but third and 13, Weasley back to pass, throwing off his back foot. What a play there by TJ Parker. That's his third deflection of the game in Central Michigan, staring in the eyes of death. Fourth and 13, play action. Weasley throwing deep. That's going to be incomplete. No, it's called for a touchdown. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Willie Davis. What just happened? Central Michigan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're going to go for two. Try to make this a 10-point game. Weasley caught two points. Holy hell. I don't even know what to say. Wow. Somebody clip that. Send that to me. I literally just said Central Michigan was staring in the eyes of death, and they throw a 70-yard bomb. So, to be honest, I don't know, buddy. Uh, Wad's on vacation, and Line Core, whoops, um, Line Core is just watching the LSU football game, so or baseball game. Kepler back to pass throw in to LeCap again. That's like his fifth reception of the day. Third, same thing. Now's where I would like to see Southern Miss start chewing clock a little bit. I don't know if that's a headman decision, a game plan decision, or a jet decision. All I know is you won't clock on your side at this point in the game. Huge stop there by Central Michigan. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say line core is fired. Um, I think they've just agreed to part ways. Fired is a mean term. Kepler throwing to LaKeep out of the backfield. Now a third and eight situation. Five wide again. It's been a lot of five wide for Southern Miss. It's five wide... And 
Wildcat, but a huge break there for Central Michigan. That is true. Lion Corps is the first coordinator to get a shutout in RFCL history, so can't take that from him. Central Michigan going to take over. 440 to play, down 10. Do the Chippewas have any more magic left in them? Hey, Mason, all I'm saying is shoulda, coulda, woulda at this point, buddy. I don't disagree with you. <laughs> but it's like I said after the after the game. We may be playing this week, but we did not win that game. And Fred, Fred Weasley is just trying to throw the ball to TJ Parker today. That is his fourth deflection. Weasley going to throw again. And he's going to be sacked. Third and 17 coming up for Central Michigan. Going hurry up offense. Weasley under pressure again. And that ball is dropped. So now fourth and 17 for Central Michigan. <laughs> As I mentioned a second ago, Central Michigan is again staring into the eyes of death. The end of their season could be upon us. Southern Miss would get the ball in field goal range pretty much if this is not good enough for a first down. Weasley throwing again deep. Picked off. I thought we were going to see Magic strike twice. But that could have sealed the fate for Southern Miss to move on to the national championship. Who would have thought? We keep going to keep it on the counter. Oh, boy. He was two steps away from being gone. Turn on shoe clock. There it is. Finally. Yeah, the, no, Blake goes on vacation like Wednesday or Thursday, I think. But all that means is we have time. I'm going on vacation in the morning, so all that means is we get time to build up some hop, make some content, and see what we can do to try to get maybe 50 viewers here for the championship. Third and four now for Southern Miss. Oh, he's picked off Central Michigan. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. We got a game. <laughs> We've got a game. You can't tell me this isn't better than Gridiron. Come on now. All right, maybe excluding the national championship between Board and Howell, but come on, bro. Come on. It was 28 to 10. Cheeky Holloman, touchdown. Caleb Holloman, 16-yard touchdown reception, and Central Michigan is not done yet.
I can't believe what I'm witnessing. And there goes the camp. The camp could be gone. People are keep. And he's gone. Southern Miss. Southern Miss. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, keep. I can't. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm so pissed I didn't have cameras on for Blake and Jet. I didn't expect to score that quick, if we're being honest here. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God, what a game. There's still three minutes left to play. There's still three minutes left to go in this game. I don't know if my heart can take it. Weasley back to pass. Throwing. Willie Davis. 20-yard reception. Clock stops. Chains move. Central Michigan. First and 10 from the 44. Weasley is 2, 12 for 28 with three touchdowns. Throwing short here to Elijah Guy, two yards out of bounds. I think Central Michigan has found something with the play action pass. I think Tyler Carter would have been a touchdown as well. Willie Davis over the middle, 29 yards. That's 132 on the day. I think that is the record. Weasley almost sacked. Ball falls incomplete. The record for yards in a game receiving is 132. So he has tied the record. Passing touchdown record is set by Jordan Grant at four. Weasley has three. Weasley under pressure, throw into Holloman, ball falls incomplete. That's the same play they scored on earlier. Up to 10 likes on the video now. Remember, 15 is for the t-shirt giveaway. Weasley throwing a dot between two guys, Elijah Guy. 12-yard reception. And I think Weasley may break the record for touchdowns in the game here, or at least tie it. I don't see them running the ball. Don't know why you would. There's another throw over the middle. Ball falls incomplete. Elijah got again this time. Maybe that was Colt Strong. Eleven personnel now in the game. Ball thrown over the middle. Willie Davis again. Eleven yard reception. He's got two touchdowns. That's the record as well. Tied. Weasley gonna run it. Dropped. Minus three. Now they're gonna go back to the air. Probably a throw over the middle here. I called it, and he stops short. Caleb Hallman on the angle route. If CMU gets the onside kick, I may quit. I may just not even play my game. Touchdown, Central Michigan, Caleb Hallman. And Fred Weasley has tied the record for touchdowns in a game. Thirty-five, thirty-two, one forty-one to play. Not gonna miss it this time. Rolling cams on Blake and Jet, and 
Southern Miss, about 10 yards from field goal range. Ideally, you do need a touchdown here, though. Probably going to go right back to that counter play you scored on just a second ago. I wouldn't be surprised to see Caleb run commit. They don't do that. Caleb Watkins drops a yard, Central Michigan timeout. No, this game is far from over, Cod King. Far from it. I really had the ball off. I called that earlier. I said I wanted to see it. Nick Kerr is going to keep it five-yard rush. Forcing the pass, I don't know if it's going to help them, Core. I mean, Kepler's killed them with their legs just as much. <coughs> Excuse me. A minute 30 to play. A touchdown, or first down wins the game for Southern Miss. And if I'm Southern Miss and I get fourth and short, I'm going for it. It's just me. They must like a ground, something on the ground here. They are. They're going to run up the middle. Caleb Watkins, fourth and short. Oh, my God. Run it. Go for it. QB sneak it. QB sneak it, Blake. Come on. Come on, Blake. QB sneak, baby. Don't punt this. Don't kick a field goal. You get a first down, you win the game. A field goal still gives them a chance to win it. You don't even win the game with a field goal. I formation. Oh, you can't. You don't have anything under center. Oh, boy. That's going to make all the difference in the world. All he's going to do is run commit middle, and Southern Miss could be screwed. It's a play action pass. It's a touch. Oh, my God. He threw a pick. Oh. <laughs> No, why did that play? Why did that play? Central Michigan. Central Michigan house call. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He ran commit, and Southern Miss <laughs> threw it. And it was a pick six to lose the game. I can't believe what I'm seeing. So they missed call the timeout, right? Why is there still two showing? Did they have all three? Am I crazy? Caleb Watkins out of the backfield. Okay, they did have all three. Okay. I was really confused. Kepler back to pass, throwing middle. Oh my God! Jalen Sumpsian, 48 yards. 
Holy shit. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. You gotta call Gerald. Pause the game. Pause the game. Well, Blake paused it somehow. Uh, Gerald, Blake's game froze or Parsec froze or something. Yeah, something yeah. happened because he's gone. His cam went off. Okay, he just got his cam back on. All right, my internet's back. My internet's back. I'm in team one. Okay. Boys, I don't believe what's going on here. Truly. Southern Miss. Seven seconds. Oh, God. Are they going to get this off? They are. Kepler. Okay. <laughs> Three yards. I can't believe what I'm watching. I truly cannot believe what I'm watching here unfold in Santa Monica. So they miss one timeout left. You can't pick up a first down without scoring. Kepler. It's picked off again. That's the game. That's the game. Central Michigan has done it. Oh, my God. Another interception. And Central Michigan is going to the championship. I cannot believe what I have witnessed. That's the wrong one. Why did that play? Oh my God. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. What a game. What a freaking game. Gerald, oh my man, oh I can't I can't wait for you to watch that back just to hear my commentary of it, dude. That was I I said when you were down twenty eight ten before that touchdown. I said Central Michigan is staring death in the eyes, and then a bomb touchdown, a pick oh, six. Yeah. On, you ran commit on that pick six, did you not? Yes, I did. Oh that was my a run god. Commit. Oh uh, my god. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. I don't really have a lot of words. Um man. Dude. Yeah, I I what questions you got, Gage? I I don't know that I can ask you anything. I I mean what the hell was that? I I don't know. Offense uh was not was just not I mean for the most most of the game was just not there. Um we easily did not have his best game. Defensively Still got some questions in the secondary. I know they got two clutch picks that, um, I mean, yeah, as you can see, the pick six right now. I don't, yeah, I don't know, Gage. I don't, I don't know what that was. I mean, like I said, I can't wait for you to go back and just listen to my commentary, bro. I'm like, Central Michigan is dead. Like, Central Michigan is looking at death and then touchdown. I'm like, okay. <sighs> pick yeah i mean even with Touchdown. that I still, I still didn't think you know and then we got that stop and i was like okay we're back into them and i think i went three and out and what was i think i got a uh i got a pick i got three picks down the stretch right yeah. one he threw at my 15 which was interesting 
then yeah, the pick six and then uh, that last one. So yeah, um, yeah, it kind of do stats. Well, he's got stats, I think. Um, okay, I'll remind him. Um, yeah, I want to go try to calm down before I commentate your game. <laughs> That's what um, I said. I said <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said at some point if y'all come back and win this game that I was gonna quit and not even play my game. <laughs> So as long as nobody, um, you know, Heard quotes that, me on that, we're good. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. all right, well, I'm going to go catch up with Blake, and uh, all right. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Yep. Blake, Jet, what a damn game. Let me just throw this out there before we get any further. The uh, the second to last pick, we picked goal line. The, the, we were supposed to run up the middle. I hit pass. Instead of running, and the rest is history. Oh, and, wait, uh, I saw it. I'm pretty sure I called it too. I, I said he's out in goal. I was, I was telling you to go QB sneak. You just added. Well, and we didn't have it, so that's exactly. the thing. So we were going to do QB run, and I thought I clicked it, but apparently I hit pass. And uh, when he dropped back, I'm sitting there going, "Oh no, oh no!" <laughs> it's just a very slow. Oh no. Um, if I'm being and, honest. I think if you would have ran, he ran commit. So I don't think yeah, he would have well, got it anyway. And that's the thing, but the the fact that he ran it back, you know, we, we were confident and be able to at least slow him down a little bit, but um, it, it's even worse letting down your team, okay? But when Jet called a phenomenal, I mean, that is a game that, like, that's the best game Jet's called all, all night. And then my one, my one mistake right there screws the whole thing up. But, um, it it hurts, especially when it's all it all came down to literally that call that that I thought I had a run on. So, anywho, yeah, uh, scroll through stats real quick while I talk to Blake. Um, Jet, okay, Jet, like Blake said, you called a phenomenal game, dude. That was unbelievable. Um, unfortunately, I don't I don't even think Kepler threw, but maybe two of those picks. I think the other, I know the pick six was, and I think maybe one of the others were from, uh, I believe it was Lockins or LeKip. But you played phenomenal. The team played really good. You were one play away from, you know, playing for the national championship. What's your takeaway from this season, this game, and how do you prepare prepare for the transition to the Montana Grizzlies? I mean, I, I'm, as much as, you know, we want to hang our hats on this, like I said, no one even voted us beating um, USA. So for us to be in the position we were, it was exciting. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm super excited for next year. Definitely, definitely surprised on the offense. I think that was maybe the highest scoring game we've played. Um, I was ecstatic to see the Wildcat go all the way finally. So um, that was fun. I mean, it was just a great game. I, yeah, you know, it comes down to the the key plays that we kind of botched. But you know, Blake and I, we we're, we're we we work really well together. You know, we kind of. If we don't agree on something, we agree to disagree and we find a solution. So it's, it was a good game. I mean, total miscommunication with Blake and I on that QB run. I, I Like you said, I still think it gets blown up, but it doesn't go for six. I think we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. And I mean, we had we had the game. Murphy was wide open over the middle and kept just didn't make the read we wanted him to. And they, it's history from there. As soon as we turned conservative clock on, the game went sour. That's why, um, you know, we kind of stay away from that. You won't see that next year. Um, we're, we're going to just, I, I hate to do it, but if we got to run up the score to stay, to stay consistent, that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, I think when we took our foot off the gas pedal, we got hurt. Blake, get team stats real quick. Um, yeah. And I, to be honest, I thought you called a phenomenal play call on that ultimately game ending pick six. Um, because I thought you called play action anticipating or just a pass anticipating, Gerald to run commit middle, so yeah, I thought it was he, perfect. But to find out was, it was quote unquote was accident. C, well, oh, the play action on the pick, yeah, yeah, it was that was we were running it, but it, 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 had we not play actioned it and we maybe stayed into a normal, I don't know, maybe audible into a quick pass, we probably would have scored. It's it, it, like I said, it's just a brain fart. I mean, the game moves so fast and you're moving along and the t- and the clock's running. So, but um, you know, we Blake and I just. We, we put our heads together and we called probably the best game of the year to think we lost to Coastal 41 to nothing before the playoffs. You probably wouldn't even think it's the same team. Yeah, and that's what I mentioned too during the stream as well was, you know, um, 
it's like we put these rankings next to these teams and they just started playing unbelievable. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but regardless, hell of a season for you guys. Congratulations on making it to the semifinals, and we look forward to seeing you again uh, on July 18th when season two starts. Yes, sir.